Hey guys, today let's talk about the mighty mitochondria, the powerhouse of your cell. This is Metacosis Perfectionalis and let's get started. In my previous video we have talked about the nucleus, the first organelle to be discovered by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. If you'd like to know more about the nucleus, don't forget to watch my previous video on the nucleus. The nucleus, by the way, was the first organelle to be discovered. And since then we have been discovering lots of organelles that you guys have to study and your life becomes worse and more miserable. Imagine that we just didn't invent the microscope so we have no idea about like these microorganisms and stuff like that. And you have to study medicine in like two years or like a year or something. It will be awesome and but like everybody will die in his 20s from cholera or the plague or whatever so okay. Here are my previous videos in my playlist MCAT Biology. Make sure to subscribe to my channel Medical Perfectionalis. Go to playlist and save this playlist to your account. Some etymology please. What does mitochondrion mean? Mito from mitos means thread. Chondrion means a granule. So mitochondrial literally mean grain-like or granule-like. Mitochondrial is singular. Mitochondria is the plural. We have talked about these organelles briefly. Mitochondria, the powerhouse, provides energy, lysosome, destroys. Endosome is the delivery guy. Endoplasmic reticulum, the rough is the translator. The smooth is the fat synthesis or the donut. Golgi is the sorter. Peroxisome is your personal trainer at the gym. The mighty mitochondria is a double membrane bound organelle. I've told you before, any membrane in biology is not a single thing, but a double membrane with a space in between both layers. Powerhouse produces ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell. We don't have like dollars to trade energy, but we have ATP. Adenosine triphosphate. The killer of the cell is also the mitochondria. It releases enzyme to initiate apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed cell death or cell suicide. When your cell grows old and it's time to get rid of the cell and regenerate that young generation and get new cells, we start apoptosis. Apoptosis is kind of cool. However, necrosis in pathology is evil. These this is when cells die because of like a disease or something. So keep that in mind. The mitochondrial membrane has two membranes, outer, inner, and the intermembrane space. Semi-autonomous. How is the mitochondria semi-autonomous? The mitochondria has its own DNA. It replicates independently of the nucleus via binary fission. This is called cytoplasmic inheritance or extra nuclear inheritance because we did not use the DNA of the nucleus. So keep that in mind. Also, apoptosis is called cell suicide. Necrosis is called cell murder or homicide. Functions of the mitochondria are numerous. ATP production, energy production, and the electron transport chain, also known as oxidative phosphorylation, cell signaling, cellular differentiation. It controls the cell cycle and cell growth. Uh, by the way, I've told you about cell cycle in a previous video, so make sure to check that. Heat production through, through a protein called thermogenin. Anything that ends in 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 medicine is usually a protein, because also a protein ends in an IN. Thermogenin is present in a type of fat tissue called brown adipose or brown fat tissue. Heme synthesis and apoptosis. Here is the structure of the mitochondrion. Here is your outer membrane and here is your inner membrane and the intermembrane space in between. The inner membrane will have some infoldings. They are called crestae. And whatever is inside the mitochondrion is called the matrix. The matrix is contained inside the inner membrane. Let's discuss some function. Protons are constantly being pumped from the matrix to the intermembrane space. We are constantly pumping protons. 
This creates something that we call proton motive force. This proton move through ATP synthase. ATP synthase will do what? It will synthesis, synthesize ATP. Through the electron transport chain, we call this oxidative phosphorylation. Check your biochemistry. How about this outer membrane? The outer membrane forms a barrier between the cytosol and the mitochondria. It contains enzymes and it has pores. The pores are for large molecules, as I've told you before. The inner membrane contains molecules and enzymes such as ATP synthase, which will lead to ATP synthesis for the electron transport chain. The cristae, they are infoldings of the inner membrane to increase the surface area available for the electron transport chain to produce ATP. The matrix is here where ATP is generated and it contains the enzymes for TCA cycle, which is Krebs cycle, except for only one enzyme. Also, don't forget that the mitochondria has its own DNA. For A plus students, mature mammalian red blood cells have neither a nucleus nor a mitochondria. The mature red blood cell, no nucleus, no mitochondria. Hepatocytes, which are liver cells, have more than 2,000 mitochondria in each cell. Wow, because the liver is the laboratory of your body, it needs lots of mitochondria to produce lots of energy. Mitochondria produces most, but not all, of ATP of the cell. Why did I say not all? Because there is a process called glycolysis, which produces very teeny tiny amount of ATP, and glycolysis occurs in the cytosol. Mitochondrial DNA is similar to bacterial DNA, both are circular. Mitochondrial DNA is inherited exclusively through the mother. Why is that? Okay, so when your mom and dad were having good time together, the sperm was going to enter into the ovum. The ovum has its mitochondria. Also, the sperm has its mitochondria, but it will leave it outside of the ovum. Only the nuclear material will enter the ovum. So, this ovum will be the fertilized ovum, also known as zygote. This zygote will have a mitochondria that came exclusively from your mother. So the mitochondria or the mitochondrial DNA is inherited only through your mother. This is one thing that only your mom can provide. Your dad just can't. That's why mitochondrial diseases are transmitted from the mother to her offspring. Daddy can never transmit mitochondrial diseases. And now you know the reason. The cell is talking about the mitochondria. I hate this mitochondria. On one day, they give me energy. On the other, they kill me by initiating apoptosis. So they give me energy through ATP, through the electron transport chain, and they kill me by initiating apoptosis or the programmed cell death. In 1775, Patrick Henry stood in Richmond, Virginia and shouted, give me liberty or give me death. But every single day your cell shouts, Dear mitochondria, give me energy or give me death. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please consider supporting this channel on Patreon to allow me to produce more videos in the future. Anyways, thank you so much. Until next time, be safe, stay happy and study hard.